Hello there guys and welcome, welcome. Okay, never mind. Let's just uh switch away from the global chat there. Hello there guys and uh welcome, welcome back to the channel. I could start the video anew, but I won't. And that's a choice. Either way, uh we need to talk about the new crystals that have been added. Now, the Supreme Solo crystals have long been outdated. You can all agree to that. Still contains items for like four stars and like, you know, best things in there are like TFI basic and tier 12 frags and five star signatures and four star gems. And it's long that we need a new crystal. And whilst initially when I heard that there is a new Solo crystal added, I was very, very, very happy because I thought it would be absolutely awesome. And on the face of it, obviously, it's golden ice rate crystal. So before I finish my conclusions, I'm going to spend 1 million solo shots. So that's going to be 50 crystals to see what we get from 1 million of these shots. And then and then, we're going to see exactly how good of an addition this is in the game. Because not to be a better or bad news. 30, 40, 50. This is not a lot of ISO. It really is not. We count the individual bricks. 50 crystal gave me what? 7, 14, 17, 26, 29 ISO. That's basically one six star dupe. Plus under a million gold. That's one million of those shots. Now, here's going to be the reason why I initially was quite happy with these. And then why I thought that just math. And why now? I'm actually quite upset with it. Because this crystal, as we all know, needed an update, right? It needed like the next tier of it or something. And that would naturally, if you take a look at by, you know, the progression here from the solo crystal to greater solo crystal to the supreme solo crystal, should include some, you know, potential low chance for tier six basic fragments, maybe some six star six on something that we can, you know, moderately still use effectively you know double the cost or triple the cost and include more current items not the cutting edge stuff but that has been the pattern in the past when kabam released supreme solo crystal they actually had some sort of value to them as in like it was very nice and neat and useful when you get those tfi basics for instance because then tfi basics still had you know some cost to them and say similar to where tier 6 basics are right now the fact that Kabam has made this crystal means we are not going to get an updated solo crystal. This is what we get. And realistically, those amounts are abysmal for the cost. I just spent 1 million solo shards and I didn't even get a million gold back. That's a drip in the ocean and it's meaningless, pointless, realistically. It's not going to get you. And again, that ISO was one five star dupe, one four star dupe gets you that ISO. One four star dupe for one million of these shots. And gold, okay, one million. Again, one million is not a lot of gold when there are seven stars in the game or six stars in the ranking up at all. So if I used all of my solo shots right now, I'd, be, I'd get like, what, five million gold ish. And, you know, ISO that I get from four or five four star dupes, that is abysmally bad. And so initially I thought, okay, cool, this is going to help a lot of people. You know, we have issues with gold economy and we have issues with ISO consistently. And this could be a nice way for people to, you know, cash out of these shards. Then I started hearing the amounts. And then I started thinking that, wait a minute, this probably means that we're not getting an updated crystal at all. This effectively is, and again, I do like to be as fair as possible. And Kabam does a good job, I like praise them because I do think that, you know, they mess up quite a lot. And then community in general, we often are very critical of Kabam. Often rightfully so, sometimes perhaps not as much. But these type of things, they deserve to be criticized over because this is them. Number one, you know, quite probably fooling people for them to get rid of these shards and stuff because absolutely not worth it. I think, you know, more than likely, if you ever grind arena, you're still probably better off, you know, popping these open, because at least you can get some boost here. You know, those 20% boosts are still useful. The six star uh, arena thing is like, I, I will promise you that what you get from these amounts to better value 
than I saw from one four star dupe and a million gold. Like even right now, we get some five star and six star uh, arena boost that when you are grinding arena can help you get through the milestones quicker, which turns out into more units and more gold. You get some boosts that you can use whatever you want. This is better. Like they released this new crystal, and like on a personal level, I will one hundred percent. You know, if I'm gonna be opening these shards, I'm still gonna open these when I when and if I choose to grind arena, for instance rather than wasting all my solo shots for this new crap that's supposedly new current and, and, and kind of like an upgrade. It's abysmally bad. The, the math is just not math enough. And again, if anybody who plays this game actually, you know, made these, it, it should be clear. So again, we are quite often and perhaps too often left with the same conclusion whether it's incompetence or whether it's maliciousness whether the kebab is deliberately 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 trying to effectively get you guys a worse outcome by enticing you to open these crystals to get some iso to get some bits of gold if you're a bit short or something when in reality even the supreme solo crystals are more worthwhile in every pretty much sense of the word or so yeah again whether it is malicious for them to effectively rip you off of your solo shots or 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 it's just incompetence without realizing you know how little these are giving out in 2024 2024 a million gold is absolutely nothing and it, it took me a million shots to get it so each one of my solo shots is effectively worth less than a single gold and you know it can be like a one-time type of fix if you just need to run if you have a ton of these and you need to rank up a champion but it's by no means something that you can benefit from you know permanently or on ongoing basis in any meaningful amount because again they effectively translate one solo crystal shard into a single gold and a droplet of ice it's just awful and again, with this crystal, it probably means we're not getting a better solo crystal anytime soon, which we are well overdue. So what what is the best way to put it? I would probably be... I, I just don't think this needed to be done. I, I think it would be better off if they had done nothing, because then at least they wouldn't necessarily, you know, scam all of these shards out of people, and there would be a better chance for them to add the next year of this crystal. Which I think now is extremely unlikely. Now that we have gotten this, I don't think we're getting an upgrade to the solar crystal. And again, I, I do think that people who will go for this kind of like hardcore are effectively doing a disservice to themselves. I think they would be better off grabbing the arena boosts and getting an arena or, you know, getting the regular champion boosts and using them for content and stuff. So maybe you have a different perspective, you know, again. Admittedly, it's easy for me to say that a million gold is not worth it when, you know, I have plenty of gold. And I'm not necessarily struggling for it, but I just do not see how this could seem appealing. Bad. And uh, if it stays this bad, again, I think it be, would be better off if they just had not done anything. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, but uh, yikes. Feel it. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have more information about 